if you've got your breath. We ought to discuss our next steps. There are important to discuss. What could have tossed me back in the shadows? You're one of us. No fist left. The curse is broken and the shadows are lifting. In time, these lands will heal. Thaniel rests well. He's healing very rapidly, now that Oliver has returned to him. I can't say for certain, but we'll see it come to pass long before this place recedes behind us. Don't worry, all is at hand. We can depart whenever you're ready. No more than my right hand can absorb my left. Oliver is helping Thaniel to recover. They both lie dormant, like trees awaiting spring. Once the curse is lifted, they can stand as one or as a pair. Whatever they wish, I hope they will remain as a pair. It will be good for them both to have a friend once I'm gone. Still, I would like to return here someday, see Thaniel and Oliver again, in my meditations or Perhaps in person, if the Oak Father wills it. I hope he does. I knew I could put my faith in you. If only we had met sooner. I have. But perhaps there is more that I want. Anyway, once the curse is lifted, nature can take its course without me. I belong at your side. And I'm glad to be had. Glad to be with you, I mean. You lot could have tossed me back in the... Sh the shadows are losing their grip on these lands. Shark can indeed be thwarted. Comforting to know. Father, he... He can't hurt us any longer. I dreamt every night that you'd come back to me. That somehow it was all a nightmare Dawn would undo. I had no dreams at all. Nothing but darkness. And when I woke, my father said you were dead. His soul was poisoned by the god of death. His sick devotion ruined him. But for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? I will be. And you? In this moment, I want for nothing. you are. This is Aelin. Aelin, this is... Oh, but we have met. This is the soldier that freed me most valiantly from the Shadowfell. They watched my boot crush the very brain of villainy, and fought well against your changed father. May he rest in peace at last, now that he's dead. I have more to thank you for than I knew. And we have much to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp later? Oh. 
I am. And I'm glad he's dead. But this is precisely what I want to speak to you about later. It'll keep. I promise. Very good. We look forward to it. Now, you will leave us. We must take succor in one another's bodies and words. Aelin! We'll see you later. yet fester the dead three united under cover of darkness the balance shifts there are depths to this alliance yet unplumbed consider mortal do illithids possess souls Thou shalt think about it now, and I shall give the answer. Mind flayers are soulless. Yet, the three amass an illithid army void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end, mortal? This is the question thou must come to answer. Until such time, be availed of my services. Where matters of balance are concerned, I am eternally called. Yes, Bane, Lord of Darkness, Baal, Lord of Murder, Merkel, Lord of Bones. Once judged, ascended, then vanquished as one and as three. The Alliance is reforged, mortal. The plains thus quake, and the gods shudder. Spread like rub rot. Treat one patch, and two more bloom in its place. An elder brain, bound by lost Netherese magic, with servants of the dead three holding the chain. <laughs> Reminds me of old times. Extensively. Mind flares, too. But I never dreamed of seeing gods and illithids working in consort. It is most disturbing. But take courage. We have killed a man who could not die and stripped the Absolute's army of its general. You have a nether stone. And you're on the scent of two more. These chosen have reason to fear you and I would like to be at your side when you confront them. Of course, falling foul of Ketherick convinced me that my grand adventures were behind me. That even if I survived, I should hang up my blades. But you convinced me otherwise. We ventured into darkness together. Now we've come out the other side. I'd say I'm feeling a little refreshed. When we reach Baldur's Gate, 
there will be even darker paths to tread. I will follow you wherever they lead. How does it compare to a shadow cursed inn? With the Absolute's army gone, the Risen Road should be clear. We can follow it all the way to Baldur's Gate. There's a Harper's safe house in Worms Crossing. Dentalan's Dancing Axe. We do well to check in with them before entering the city proper. Beyond that, our course is yours to set. I can recall how to take orders as well as give them. Once Althea is done with this song, we will be looking for patrons. All coppers welcome, pal. Miss Althea wants to write us a song about you fighting Ketherick. But I miss Maul. Althea is writing us a song. A stupid song won't bring Maul back. Tell her, won't you? Helm's blessings upon you. You're here. Good. That's good. Me? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just worried about the kids. Maul is still missing, and they haven't taken it too well. I've been trying to cheer them up. We're writing a song together. But I think they're just humoring me. Maybe. I'd love to put on a show just for them. But it's boring if I'm the only one playing. I need another bard. Maybe I'll find one in the city. Until then, the kids and I shall work on our masterpiece. Oh, where is she? Medicine. Some bed rolls if we're feeling luxury. Back in last light. I was racking my brains. How the hells do we get past the curse? And then a blinding light cuts through the darkness like a blade through butter. All thanks to you, I hear. Didn't think we'd make it without the old L rider to lead us. But you did a damn fine job. I would. He didn't have any fight left in him. Briefest hesitation as Saris wars with old loyalties. And whence? I looked up to him. We all did. There are less mouths to feed, but we still need supplies for the road. We'll scavenge what we can. Hopefully, we'll see you again in the city. Sorry. 
Any word on Faniel? And the curse? Sorry, I... I didn't mean... I'm just worried. You'd make a fine fist. There you are. I was wondering where the devil you'd been. Who? Oh, right. Well, forget about that, McGungus. We have more important things to worry about. Like Walbrin. Walbrin and the Iron Hand Gnomes are planning something dreadful in the city. They have room powder, they have motive. We have to stop them. Because they're a gaggle of vindictive crybabies with no sense of propriety. That is to say, they gabbed about their plans like a geese, and I overheard them. Like a very devious goose. <laughs> the sword of justice in one hand and the shield of self-righteousness in the other, we most certainly will. To saving the city and my fool of a friend. Your substance. I owe you an apology. In a sense, yes. But that's because I didn't know what you were capable of. I saw you as a means to escape, nothing more. But when the sky lit up, when I followed it here, I knew you were behind it. I apologize for not seeing your true worth and for being, quite frankly, rude in last light. Gracious as well as impressive. A fine combination. And that's precisely why I want you by my side in Baldur's Gate. The Iron Hand Gnomes are going to save the city. And you can be part of it. plan is what it's always been. To bring the work and innovations of the Iron Hand Gnomes to every corner of the realm. Problem is, Baldur's Gate is sick. Once the pinnacle of greatness, it's eating itself alive to save itself from starving. Find me in the city. And once you see what it's become, you'll know that I, and I alone, can stop it. you out for dinner. How does the stone read? The way is clear. The light has shown the way. Good. Moonrise has been cleansed. Baldur's Gate is next. Feel that calm. It's a grim task, picking provisions from the dead. But the way I hear it, the fighting's not done yet. You need to resupply. <laughs> 